Live look right now in Ukraine. President Biden announcing more sanctions on Russia this morning and additional humanitarian aid as more than 3 million civilians flee the war in Ukraine. In this date and 24 7 now exclusive, our Allison Walker is live tonight after speaking with foreign policy experts and local Ukrainians about their journey trying to get family to Ohio. Allison. Megan, I sat down with one local Ukrainian whose parents arrived here in Dayton just yesterday. They tell me it's nothing short of a miracle, but explain so many other Ukrainians aren't as lucky. Just two weeks ago, Anastasia Nagel thought this moment may never come. A lot of prayers were answered and it was, it was surreal. There they were. On, on American soil, they were safe. Nagel's parents were set to visit Dayton when the first airstrike signified the beginning of Russia's war in Ukraine. Her mother, Larissa, tells me they made it to Dayton thanks to an already approved travel visa and the help of Polish citizens smuggling them across the border. It's very difficult to see how so much people, not only women with babies, with kids and uh, Say goodbye to their yes, husbands. They say goodbye to their husbands. They fled to uh, to a city in the western Ukraine. That city got bombed today. So you know they're escaping the war from the east and north, but it's it's catching up to them. Nagel and Tetiana Hupska, who also has family in Ukraine, say more pressure on Russia is desperately needed. They're now calling on NATO to establish a no-fly zone in Ukraine as bombs indiscriminately target civilians. They need a bulletproof vests, they need a combat helmets, they need cat tourniquets, they need um, uh, survival kits, uh, Backpacks, night vision, they need the goggles. Russia is also uh, paying mercenaries, battle hardened fighters from Syria uh, that uh, effectively Putin propped up Bashar al Assad, the dictator of Syria. And now some of those um, uh, troops that have been fighting for the last decade are now going to move into Ukraine. That's a very dangerous situation. So this is already beginning to escalate. As local Ukrainians call for boots on the ground to prevent World War III, foreign policy expert Dr. Glenn Doerr explains it may instead provoke it, but says what actions the world takes this month is critical. Certainly there could be a lot more in terms of sanctions. And Ukrainians tell me global democracy is on the line right now, and they're calling this war a genocide against their people. That's why they're calling on the U.S. to fast track the approval of already submitted visa applications so more Ukrainian families can be reunited right here in the States. Reporting live in Dayton, Allison Walker, Dayton 24, 7 Now News. Allison, thanks. And there are several local organizations that you can donate to to assist Ukrainian efforts. To learn more, you can just head to our website, date247now.com, and click on this story.